Place is really thinking about, and place-based learning is really thinking about what are the spots that matter to people? Where has history happened? And how do people think about and remember those places? Take, teach through a place-based approach when you're working with your students so that they can think more critically about their own local history and try to draw connections between places uh, across the country. I can build curriculum. I can create my own curriculum. I decide what I teach. It makes it a more personal stance that I get to live the experience and get a better understanding of what's happening, what's happening, and then just grow my knowledge. And so what we've tried to do is sort of expose teachers to those ideas using Selma, Marion, the Black Belt um, as, as a, a kind of test site for that. Um, yesterday during the lesson, that was like an eye-opening for me. I, I want kids to hear it from the person themselves. So I'm definitely taking that back. I'm taking that back the knowledge that I learned. I've learned so much this week. The being in the environment is very helpful because it makes it a personal learning experience for you. What I hope they might do is, um, if I give them a synopsis of some of the places I've been and some of the people I've met, they might have some um, penetrating questions that might uh, give them uh, uh, open the discussion up to like what particularly interests them specifically. That's what the teachers are looking for. That's what they've said, that they, they look for that connection to keep students un with this understanding that, yes, it happened in, in, in the 50s and the 60s, but it's not done. It is an ongoing, it, and it's an always present need to, to be involved uh, when, when it comes to civil notes. But people that have spent years and months um, in Selma, learning about the environment, talking to the people, that's firsthand experiences that not many people get. And it's, I think it's a valuable tool to have um, staff and professors that actually invest in the work. Selma fits into both this very local, what's happening in the community, who is still here, uh, what are the, uh, the stories that need to be told, but then also how that is then taken to a more national story. I really want them to be able to go back to their own communities and find those sort of hidden stories uh, of place find the people that um, can help them learn more about their communities and their sort of deep histories there. Leaders don't do great things unless they have great followers. And it's the followers that I like to pinpoint on because they're the ones that are mis uh, neglected in terms of the stories that you told. And I just happen to have been one of the people there who know uh, a lot about their story. And I take great pride in telling that.